Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Swinsa campaign. This is episode 6. We pick it up from turn 28 in the winter season of 199. So we're at the turn of the century, you could say. Uh, about to hit the year 200. Uh, still no sight of our wives, uh, Da Qiao and Xiao Qiao, for Sun Ce and Zhou Yu. Uh, those events are not 100% triggered, uh, similar to how Zhou Tai is not always available. Uh, but other than that, things are going great. Uh, we're doing cleanup uh, down south. Uh, Yan Yu's faction has two territory, Hua Xin has another one. And then we're probably going to go to war with both the Han Empire as well as Yuan Shu. We'll split our armies, one going west towards our old homestead in Changsha, and then head north into the northern part of the Jin province uh, to recover land from Liu Biao, as well as Huang Zhu, who is the murderer of our father. And the other army, a second army, will go reclaim Xingdu's fishing port and go to war with Yuan Shu, uh, our old vassal master who has decided to uh, assassinate Liu Chong and declare himself as emperor. So the conflict will bring us uh, into war with a lot more factions, uh, Huang Zhu, Liu Biao, Cao Cao, because he's the vassal master of the Han Empire, and also Yuan Shu over here. So things are about to heat up, but first we have to wrap up the fighting in Jian'an and Yu Zhang. Um, we did most of the fighting at the end of yesterday's episode, so we just have some buildings to construct before we move on. Over here in Jianye, we're still just going to do the slow build-up for peasantry and uh, commerce income. Uh, this is probably better right now, even though it takes longer. It's super cheap to build because we have four uh, purple building giving discounts plus uh, Chen Pu's 41%-ish, uh, 42%. So there's 40% from buildings plus 42% from this, so we're only paying 18% cost to upgrade. If we can upgrade these to tier 5, that's 15% each. 60% plus Chen Pu will be free blue buildings. Uh, it's very possible. Uh, we probably can see it later on once we build tall here. But right now we'll take the 82% uh, discount and just build that. And uh, Poyang. Uh, Poyang needs to upgrade the commander. We got the tier 3 legendary weaponsmith so we're gonna get uh, I weapons every few turns I believe at tier 3 it's every 5 to 10 turns so about every year you should see a new item uh, that's I think the the difference is basically a year two year and three year with the three different tiers and then the percentage of generating uh, better weapons like legendary goes up as you upgrade so hopefully we'll see some nice weapons to be picked up let's upgrade that uh, Xingdu uh, it's now fine as well. We took care of all the enemy generals. They had a tough fight over here. So Xingdu is very safe. Um, I think we're going to upgrade this just because it's a little faster. The construction boost is in Poyang. Three turns, three turns. So we're actually going to recall him and put him somewhere else because he's not going to be have another chance to activate that over here. Just trying to be efficient. And over here in Jian'an, uh, where we just captured, we need to get rid of these buildings. We can get a refund by tearing down the little one. Uh, we can rush it just so that we don't have to wait because I think... Oh, actually that works. That way we get the full 300 back for the conversion and we should be fine here. And let's see. Everything else I think looks just fine. All right, and our armies have all moved. I don't think there's any turncoats that we could turn for a key big advantage. Yep, not really. Let's just continue then. Zanbat wants a non-aggression pack, no deal. He's not paying us. Okay, and instead of destroying Yan Yu this turn, we might have to wait because Hua Xin actually mustered up a group of men to fight us. Shixie has died. That's so early. Year 200. Uh, and then we got the instinct plus 160. That's on Sun Ce because we gave him the horse last turn. Um, so that's another 5 reckless luck build up there. Uh, Shixie historically lives until 90. That's a rather early death. Poor guy. Um, so he must have an army to fight us. Not impressed, but... We do have to turn this army around, it seems. 
we can't go take the rice patty or else we'll lose the copper mine which i don't want to lose so yeah, they can just do that. both it'll just be two turns instead of one so first we'll get this fight out of the way this is just a joke yeah we're not really gonna actually fight this spare yan yu the pain Ooh, I think that's a scholar. And scholar give 10% experience, which is nice for our faction. Forge master definitely stays, and I believe she already has a scholar. Yeah, she already has one. So uh, we don't have another leadership position just yet. We'll just stash that item for now. And uh, they can move on to finish the rice patty next turn. Uh, we did convert that back. They built uh, in here. I don't think we need one. This is just going to be a food production. So we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to build... I'm going to build this. Do we... I don't know if we need to actually increase the size of our force to fight that. We have no front line, but... Our generals are very good front line. Do we need to capture any generals for items? So it seems like really hard to capture generals who don't have resiliency, which we kind of proven at the end of last episode. We can turn around and actually attack them. I don't need the garrison in the copper mine to help us. So we're going to put this army here. Can we actually reach them? Yeah. And they're willing to fight us because they think they can win. Uh, big mistake. All level 1 troops. Yeah, we got this. Let's go. Alrighty. Uh, we're loaded up in here. Quite a bit of trees, which, as you know, we don't like. Um, we might just fight them here in this gap, uh, which I think it's fine. It's not raining, so we do have the fire arrows in full effect. I'm slightly worried about that bush. I don't want to catch it on fire. There's a little bush in front of that as well. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then we'll have our archers stacked up on the side. Also raining fire down on them. Actually, they can stand in front. We don't actually have a front line. They do have some cavalry. Um, cavalries are taught to flank really weirdly, the AI. They always go for like the back side. So let's prepare for that. Towers here. Fire is not very useful for us because we're so f in front of the deployment zone. We're going to just have to hold them with our generals. Now we do have the exemplar ability unlocked, so all our generals on the battlefield will increase their attack rate and melee evasion. We'll see if we can get a duel for Sun Ce, which is very important. Oh, he's willing. We have a taker. Joey's a little bit low health, so we won't let him run up. I'm pretty confident we can beat him without too many different types of boost. Although I would like to draw him away from the enemy army. And Cheng Gong's buff. Okay, okay. So we pull him towards Cheng Gong. Oh, we forgot to move our cavalry. Great. Um, we're just going to hide our cavalry. Not hide. Just put them here. Okay. Cheng Gong go try to find wherever they are. Zhou Tai will guard our front line. Okay. Cheng Gong also low health. Uh, it's from our delegate fights. It's fine. So we do get another duel, which is great. I think this is our fourth. We're close to finishing that mission. And finishing that mission will actually completely stop our reckless luck from decaying. We'll be at plus 10. Chenggu, where, where are they fighting? There is Sun Ce. Where is the other guy? Hua Kai. Hua Kai. Alright, we got the debuff on him. And Sun Ce will take care of him. So, you see the exemplar? We get 3% 3, 3 more attack rate. As well as 10% extra melee evasion. 
Anyhow, enemy cavalry should be going down to our archers. If not, Trimple can delay them a little bit just by charging at them. There we go, and they're gone. And Trimple can also give them range block chance uh, blocking. Uh, we might actually light this up because it looks like they're coming after us. What? Chenggong got killed. Oh, we weren't looking. Okay. Be that way. Zhou Tai will go take care of this group. These cavalry will take care of that. Sun Tzu won the duel. Alright. Gonna have to charge that. Sun Tzu, are you back on your horse? Yes, okay. Go after range units. Go after range units. Cavalry come out. Erase some generals. Yeah, it's over. Let's erase these strategists. Uh, I know we want their items, so ah, uh, yeah, we'll spare them. Look at this health. Look at that health. The charge bonus just stupid strong. They vanished. That entire unit vanished. Alright, we we want to gently touch him, so the charge we got like, once we see the health start start to drop, we have to like stop hitting him. Okay, okay, I think that, that's good. I think that's good, that's enough damage. Oh, they still have a few units left, that's why they're not routing completely. Um, can we get you guys on them? Alright, we need a few. I'm worried about the bolts that's about to be fired that way. Oh, the archer is here. So let's go after that. Alright, one over here, other one over there. Alright, they should be gone. Just to make sure we'll charge them. Make sure they don't come back. Oh, and you can see that we have this ability now. Because we do have Othorn. I believe he is Othorn with um Chenggong maybe? No, but Chenggong is dead, so it must be with one of these generals. Having these five guys fight together for this long makes him get some a couple of thorns so we have we can choose in the future who he fights with. Alrighty. Make sure Hua Xin isn't a threat. Got an item. Did capture her, so we can execute her for her item. Execute their leader. Uh, why is he just a general? Isn't he the leader of the faction? Get money. We ranked up. Wonderful. How do we gain prestige from that fight? I don't know. Ah, because we finished the duel, so we got 25 prestige. We also get plus one reckless luck. So we're good. We will no longer lose reckless luck. We only gain from capturing and completing missions. We're back to the second tier. Very soon we'll be back to the top tier. Uh, so our there's no risk of our luck ever running out going forward. Uh, we're gonna... Can we move a little bit closer? We can't. I guess they have to kill them themselves with Zhou Tai because Cheng Gong is on the bench. Did he pick up any bad trait for dying? That That's my concern. Yep. Uh, it's not terrible on him. It does take up a trait spot, which sucks. But losing expertise and melee damage on a strategist is not the end of the world, so not too bad. We should have watched him. I didn't see the troops come out while the duel was happening. Hmm. Jotai soloing the army? This is not the good. Oh, well. 
Depends on the army, right? That army, I believe we can definitely solo. Yeah. There we go. Can he solo the lumber yard? I doubt it. No, you can't. Um, break siege. I just, just wanted to see. The good old days of him stoling a thousand people is, is over. All right, I'm actually gonna recall him. We're gonna set him up somewhere else. Sun Tzu can finish up in the lumberyard next turn, and they can finish up here in the rice paddy next turn as well. Uh, these generals, we are probably gonna end up recalling most of them as well. Uh, we gotta reset our offense. First, we want to reclaim the fishing port. Launching attack out of here might be the easiest path. And then we also want to attack against the High Empire. Because I want to finish up capturing Yuzhang for symbolic reasons. Because Yuzhang basically completes what's called Jiangdong. Uh, Jiangdong, uh, the term Jiang, refers to a river. And the river in question is the Yangtze River, which in Chinese is called Changjiang. So the Jiang stands for the river and Dong stands for east so it means the eastern portions of the river which if you see how the river you know goes it's this region right here and uh, we're about to complete it except for this annoying Xingdu fishing port that's not ours so we're gonna retake these and then retake that and we pretty much complete our mission in terms of claiming our ancestral homeland which is a breeze right here let's see we have some building options we have some yeah we got to fix our generals ranking up means we have two new positions which is great let's see what these positions can provide us income from all source and also corruption reduction wow director of finance is a big job and then court physician gives us general health and ability recharge rate okay okay they got my attention here um, we only have one general who's over rank three. We can, I also want to keep one position kind of open and this one I might keep open so I can shuffle people around, which is something that's crucial. Having few administrators is kind of bad because at this point, most faction has like two or three, but we need to upgrade this guy. If we want to get more administrator positions, we need one more term of shared expertise to do that. Okay. Well, let's throw hmm, spy position. This is the least useful one, in my opinion, for me right now. So we can put the lowest level guy here. So Lu Fan being in this position is fine. Construction cost, construction time. This one's also not that important, but he does give um, invoke faction mission, which we could do this turn. Zhou Tai. Director of Finance. Director of Finance. I guess Taishutsu can go do it. Doesn't really matter who. We just want the bonus at this point. We can shuffle them later. Alright, so the court's set up. And we need to recall some army. He has so let's just recall everyone. That way we can set up a new army next turn with the whole roster. When when is our brother coming of age is another question. Seventeen, so almost time. She has a long time to go. Uh eight more years. Forty turns. Okay, so all the generals went back. Check turncoats. Nothing really. We're keeping one position open. Upgrade land development. This was a shame that we weren't able to do this. What about the other ones? School? Okay. Yeah, this one's not happening. So, school and land development. I should have kept that in mind while upgrading. 
So we could just spend a little gold. This one would not have a school or a land development. We don't have the city. We could potentially rush two buildings. We have the money to do so. We can't build school here because school needs a small city, which is a shame. All right, so let's get the proper builds in first. This is a proper build. We could definitely rush this to build the land development. We can also, this would be a more expensive rush. This would be a school, small city, school rush. Okay, it's a viable strategy here. This one, we just want to do this properly. Over here, we want a state workshop first. All right, so now we have 8K. So let's do them one at a time. Rush this, build this, rush this, finish the mission. We have 5k. Let's be reasonable here. All right, this is what a thousand school rush tear down because I don't actually want it and. Um, so we finished all the missions that we can, and now we can invoke new ones. So this one we abort. Confucian Temple. Okay, we can cheat this out. Settlement upgrade. Remote on assignment. Definitely can do that. Move a character to Jian Large Town. We can definitely wait. This this is so easy. Hold on. And then what else? Raise a force, which we'll do next turn. Okay, so most of the missions we can do. There we go. <laughs> Move them out, move them in. <laughs> they just have to be moved inside this town area, anywhere in this commandery. So that's done. Um, we actually have money left over to upgrade this, which is great. So nothing, nothing is lagging in terms of building. Um, this is a little lag here, basically because we don't have a spot to build stuff. If we take this down, can we build? A state workshop, for example, a thousand. Private workshop is what? All right, let's just wait a turn. We don't want to be at zero goal next turn. We won't go on assignment here, and we'll do buildings here next turn. Perfect. So they'll wipe them out. We'll wipe them out. And then we'll set up a new army here, set up a new army going this way. Perfect. Uh, pick a reform. All right, so we're two away from getting this. This doesn't help us too much. See, now I'm tempted to slow this down again and just go for a level three tax collection, which will actually help our income. Ah, let's stick to our guns and finish this. Five more turns until we get Onyx Dragons. All right, we're good to go. Uh, I think we are happy with where we are. Let's continue. Liu Bell still wants to vassalize us. No deal. All right, Sun Ce at last avenges his father, destroy the f falling faction Huangzu. Uh, that's exactly what we plan to do. So Yuan Tan got destroyed. Interesting. Hua Xin died. We killed him last turn. And then they had a regent that was a regent for a turn, and then someone took over. Rubon's on assignment. All right, all these bonuses are coming in very nicely. Okay, we got a huge roster. Zhangwen? Zhangwen? Oh, you must be like ancient. 60-year-old. Peerless prestige. Worked with our dad, you know, in the battle against the Leon province. Uh, Leon rebels. Not a great guy. Um friends with the eunuchs he does have the burn trait he could be a spy that's another thing uh, we'll pass he's 60 can't use him that long ma xiu uh ma teng's kid 
His second son, I believe, Ma Chao Ma Xiu Ma Tie. Historically executed by Cao Cao at this point. We don't need a, we don't need a, another vanguard. That's the thing. What is going on with you? He has an item. All right, we're probably going to pass on all of them. We're going to wait for more relevant characters to. Wo all right, let's wrap up our fight. They send out a new general, but it's just going to be a delegate. It's a joke here. All right, good night to that faction. Perfect. All right, and then we're going to launch our attack into Yuzhong from over here. Um... We're probably going to do some recruiting next turn after we move to here. And we have to replenish a little bit before we launch the war against them. We're going to basically bounce from here to here to here to here. And then declare war on uh, Huangzhu from here. Take over that. And then we'll have all of Changsha and Yuzhong, which is our goal. Um, over here, also a simple delegate. And the bandits of the south are no more. We, we did it around the historical time. We pacified the south right around 200. That's when Sun Ce launches the flanc uh, was about to launch his northern expedition and then got assassinated. Now is when we go, you know, against history and do our own things. Zhang Zhao leveled up to level 3. Love that. Uh, what about Zhang Hong? He got left behind? A little bit left behind. Okay. Uh, we do have enough shared expertise. It's going to go on Handang because we want this administrator to increase by one. So he's going to get the shared expertise. Please level up. There you go. Um, what do we want him to have? Play more speed. Want to go down this route here. So we go with Fury, Mobility. So it goes to two extra administrator, which is great. And then we need to get him to rank eight or just switch someone who's rank eight into his position. If we have that available, whichever one comes first. Now, the other question is who's who can be a good administrator here. That's not already in our court. Who has a messed up? Who has a messed up skill tree? Taishu I suspect you might have one. Yep. He has a messed up skill tree. Um, he doesn't have that high of uh, expertise as you would expect. Uh, simply, we have the wrong weapon on him, for example. That's a reason why. And also, he has a bow. So we might not make him administrator, even though he already got two of the traits. It doesn't have to be a Sentinel. Sentinel just reduces cost. Lu Meng's rank 3. We'll get Patience. It's a key skill. Chen Pu also has a messed up skill tree. There's potential here for... Oh, he oh, he is administrator. It's not potential here. He's ready administrator. Zhang Rao also has a messed up skill tree and also very high expertise. I'm kind of tempted to throw him into Poyang. He's currently providing us what? 10% construction? We could flip-flop a little bit. This bonus is not that important. We can move him here. Move him here. And then move Zhang Zhao into the top here because we want. All right, let's shuffle things up a bit. Um, this is a key position. This one's pretty nice. This one's, yeah, this one's the least important one. We don't need a level five here. So we're going to move Zhang Liao into administrator role in Poyang because that's a heavy industry town which can generate us a lot of gold and with this opening we're going to shuffle him to Grand Architect Grand Commandant I'm trying to reduce the number of vanguards in the top that's what I'm trying to think about 
Kai Shitsu could move up. He could try to gain another level quickly. That's a key position. That way we have a sentinel in our court to use abilities on. Grant Excellency. The recruitment cost will drop versus character salary. There's only 2%. Oh, we lose assignments if we move him away. Ooh. Oh, I know what to do. Uh, we'll eat the construction time. It won't be so great, but it's fine. We're going to move Zhou Tai. Uh, actually, Huang Gai, Director of Finance. Boost income, which is great. Also, corruption reduction faction wide. That opens up the Chancellor position. He's a great chance. Wait, because oh, we already moved him this time. I guess it doesn't matter. Story wise, it doesn't matter. We want a rank 5 guy here. Or no. No, no, no. We want a rank 5 guy. Recruitment cost discount. Grant Commandant, Grant Tutor. I want to move him there. And then I want to move Zhang Zhao into the Grand Tutor. I want to shuffle them so the story also makes sense. But I will throw him here for now. But then we lose assignment, which I don't want to do. I'd rather lose some armies. Army, uh, available army count. Zhou Tai being Chancellor just sounds so wrong, though. I want I should have put him as over there. Didn't think ahead. Uh. All right, we're gonna flip this way. Uh, that's it's all messed up. Um. This bonus is what? So I keep forgetting. This is a salary. Uh, this is important. Also, the assignment is important. This one's not so important. All right, we're just going to move. Who cares? We'll reshuffle one of these days. Okay, so here. Why can't I demolish this? We need to get this converted. All right, this needs to be fixed ASAP. There we go. And then we'll go with the free building for now. All right, not really happy with how we arranged the courts there. Don't, oh. All right, let's get this to a small city first. Poor young. State workshop. Okay. All right, everything's good. Do we need to give you any items for being a uh, administrator? Do we have any more items? Nope. Trump was using the sickle. Oh, we could take this from him. Plus eight expertise is gonna help a lot. Sorry, Zhou Yu. Actually, resolve horses help a lot too with population growth. We're at what plus two K? Still plus two K, so never mind. Never mind, I lied. Yeah, no difference whatsoever. Okay. It's a big character shuffle, but I think we did it. Rebellion soon. We'll take care of that. And elsewhere... We're good. Uh, let's continue. Ooh, Lü Bu wants to tr us to join their coalition with Zan Ba. And I believe that's Zhang Yan in the Black Mountains. We'll pass. All right, Gong Sun Zan's fighting the Dong Separatists. We got a settlement upgrade. I think that actually 
completes most of the missions. Except for, what is this? Raise a force. We'll do that this turn. I'm not sure about the temple. Not sure if that's happening. The bonus is what? Public order. Popula population growth is good, though. Okay, we have a bunch of level up, which sounds amazing. Zhou Yu, uh, level 6. He doesn't really need march uh, for reach. But judgment is nice. Forest spotting. Uh, that's actually not terrible uh, for our siege weapon's sake. It's not, it's not completely useless. I mean, it could be better, but... It's fine. Who else leveled up? Lu Fun. Level 4 Go Master Patience. Capturing people is what I like to do. We'll build you up for battle as well. Lady Wu. Just uh, whatever gives authority is fine. Also, this gives an uh, extra assignment. Let's do that. You also leveled up. Um, you're also just going to be a Simon character, so we're going to grab these three. Cool. And next turn we'll be able to share expertise again. And we're going to reach top tier of Reckless Luck very soon. Uh, I'm going to shuffle the court one more time, just so that we get everything right. I want these to be 5, this one to be a rank 3, and this one to be... I mean, ideally rank 5. Well, maybe we can get all the buildings first. Well, we have that bonus. Um, Xingdu is going to have a rebel situation. We'll have some uh, patience officers to go take care of that. Over here, we're going to upgrade this. Rice patty. I think we want this to be a small city. Start building tax collection here. Over here, also start building tax collection. All right, all our builds are put in there. Now we can do a shuffle because we used up his bonus. Um, we want him to be in the chancellor position. We want Zhang Zhao to be the grand tutor. We want Chen Gong maybe to be down here. Hmm. Zhou Yu is stuck here because I think this is Da Du Du. Vanguard's on the bottom. Grand Commandant. These two should flip flop, but we can't flip flop. Flip flop's not allowed. He has to come down. So one of these guys have to come down for us to shuffle properly. It's probably going to have to be Zhou Tai. All right. Chancellor, because you're good at ruling. Um, Zhang Zhou into this position that they need to, he needs to move into Grand Architect. Come on, move. Zhang Zhou to the tutor position. It's not letting me confirm. There we go. Huang Gai back into Grand Commandant. Okay, not too shabby. Uh, finance is a key role. Spying a minute. These are all key roles. Du uh, Meng. We can temporarily throw him here, and then once we get another administrator or something, we can throw him, shuffle him down. How close is? Zhang Hong. He's close, but not super close. Yeah, we'll throw him here. You fun. Alright. Done. Done with that. Done with that whole mess. Alright, let's regroup our armies. We're gonna go... Honestly, this will be a better attack position. But it'll just take us a long time to loop that way. I don't really want Lu Ling. Maybe we can do a trade. Would they be interested in a trade? That's my question. I don't really have an interest in Lu Ling.
Oh, oh dear. We're going to war. Um, Nanha is right below us. Nanha is really nice. Maybe we'll actually attack Luling. And then meet up. Just take a little bit more territory than we planned originally. Yeah, perhaps. We need a couple food producing places. So we'll keep this army relatively thin in terms of power until we have to fight uh, Huangzu. And then we'll launch a new army from here to set up over here. And we're going to use Tai Shi Tsi. No, Tai Shi Tsi should be in the northern attack group. Han Dang Huang Gai. Huang oh yeah, let's put Huang Gai out. Haven't really used him this uh, game yet. He gets along with Cheng Gong as a strategist. He's on assignment? Okay. And then... Oh man, we need a frontline unit. We don't have one. And then Zhou Tai is also not available because Zhou Tai needs a um, Othorn character with him. Alright, Tai Shi is coming this way then. Okay, this army is going this way. And then we need another army going that way with our other group right here. We're getting rid of all the archers. We're going to replace them with onyx dragons uh, when we hit spring of 201. And some siege weapons. And these very elite range units going to go north. Mm, we don't have access to tiger guards yet. Need level 6. So we'll wait on that. How many turns? Four turns? It's ridiculous. Hmm. We might do a recall and a summon. Yeah, this takes too long. So, uh... We'll pay for the... Uh, or we can just summon new ones. What's the ratio here? Ah, uh, it's 4 to 1. Alright, we'll pay for them again. Actually, it doesn't make sense because we can get rank 3 right away. So we're actually just going to get rid of all of them. Should have done this last turn. I thought I was just going to walk them over super close, but I guess that's not the case. It's been an extra turn of uh, upkeep for no reason. And aside from those three, we can build an army surrounding him. Uh, we'll check next turn because we ran out of deployment who he gets along with. All right, so we set up kind of our army distribution. We also need to set up a bandit, a rebel killing group. Right, we forgot about that. Aye. All right, we'll, we'll let the rebels fester for a little bit because we used up a lot of our patience officer already as well. Who has patience here? He doesn't, he can't. Um, who is on assignment. We could potentially cancel that just so that he can come out and get us some rebel kills. He has that. Taishitsu has that. John Alpoli has it too. Alright, I, I think I think we're good. I think we just need to maybe recall one if we have to. Send him out as a rebel killer. Mm. Alright. Alright, making poor decisions here. Uh, anyhow, let's check um, turn codes and go to next turn. Hopefully we're more organized by that time. Let's go. Alright, Yuan Shao and Zhang Yan going to war. 
Kung Sun Zhen declare war on Cao Cao. I mean, we are going to declare war on his vassal, so we're pretty much declaring war on Cao Cao. Sun Quan comes of age. Oh, we got one more general to use. Great. Um, Zhou Yu's rank six or higher since last turn, so another mission complete. Man of many scar event. Yeah, this is the story of uh, your brother Sun Quan foolishly set up his camp without proper sentries in the middle of the night of war. He was a teenager, and they were on the road. They got ambushed by bandits. Sun Quan is surrounded in moral danger, but Zhou Tai appeared out of nowhere. His weapons a blur. Though he takes a dozen deep cut, he drives back the attacker and saves Sun Quan. Uh, basically, Sun Quan was about to get killed, and Zhou, Yu, Zhou Tai grabbed him. You know, little kid. I think about a teenager. Grabbed him onto his horse, basically shielded him with his body, and fought his way out. And then we paid a lot of money to get Hua Tuo, the legendary doctor, to come to heal Zhou Tai. Uh, but he left a lot of scars. Do, does he actually gain... He gained the scar trait. Does he gain a scar title? Like, does his uh, background change here? Because that's what I'm most curious about. No, he's still the reformed Bridgent. Because before he was called Man with Many Scar. And that was the event that kind of triggered it. But he doesn't get that title change here. A little disappointing. Got a tunic. What else is available? Hua Tuo, the doctor, on the turn that he gets the event? This has got to be a coincidence. I mean, he has no special treatment in game. He's just the advisor. But this is the doctor that actually saves Zhou Tai. He could be a spy, which is another sad fact. Mm, we don't necessarily need... Oh, Guo Si has a sword with him, a weapon with him. Glaive. Construction cost. He could also be a spy. Zhu Zhi. So he's historically relevant to Wu. He's the one who persuaded uh, Sun Ce to leave Yuan Shu in the first place. He advised Sun Ce to go south. He's not a spy, but really didn't get any treatment here. Um, all right, so we got this to worry about first. So the first couple yellow turban generals have items. That's why we're so keen on summoning back all our uh, patients officers, because that's our chance to get these items. And we can't really you know, get them later on, so we might as well try to do it now. We're going to use up all our deployment to do this. We're going to first proxy a guy out. And then Zhang Liao we know has oh do I know? Yes, he has patience. Double check, double check before we summon. Oh no no no, not in different armies. How did I mess this up? Does he still get movement? No he doesn't. Ah Okay. Silly me. Um so we'll fight the yellow turbans next turn with this army. Tai Shi Ci, even though they don't get along with each other. And then the last officer... I don't know who. Oh, he has it. Okay, so we'll use these three. And next turn they'll fight that group. And uh, we'll be able to capture her. Maybe they'll get a second general. We can actually get more items. Maybe it works out in the end. Who knows? Um, but that also highlights the fact we probably need to build a conscription building somewhere in one of our more food heavy commanderies so that we can actually build uh, some of more units per turn. We got a new assignment available? Huh, interesting. I'm thinking about whether we want to declare war against them now because we can actually take two for free right away and build them up. Uh, let's do it. Wait, we have a deal with them? Oh, we have a trade deal. Uh, do you want to be untrustworthy here? Yeah, I think we we want to be. I don't know we want to be, but like, I don't see an option. It's only five points. It'll work its way out. Talk 
so I'll declare war back. Okay. Maybe he'll tunnel vision us and come after us. But we do want all these southern land. So this is free. And this is free. And then we'll work our way towards Changsha. Alright, we are going to have to build these up from scratch. We ran out of deployment slots. Um, get this to a small city. Xingdu. Alright, we're going to upgrade this and build a conscription building here. Or maybe, uh, I don't know. Let's see what else we can build first. Five thousand gold. Yeah, let's build it. Our little brother is probably going to be on assignment duty for a while. He is probably not good as heir right now. Not as good as mom. He did bring us a sword. Good for him. Um, but both of them actually have good expertise sword already. So he can actually keep his sword. Do we have a... This is probably our best peasantry. Oh, he's... Oh, she's already working on it. This is probably our second best peasantry. Alrighty. Yeah, kind of scrappy about how we're doing things, but... Doing the best we can. Let's continue. Huangzu. Alright, oh, we have an empty trade, but we're not trading with him because we're attacking him very soon, so reject. All right, it's time for... Oh, our uncle joined Lü Bu. Okay. Han Sui dist I mean, he had no money for so long. I don't know how he survived. Chen Pu, uh, patient tactician, plays Xiang Qi, which is Chinese chess. Just a little satisfaction event. Labor recruit. Actually an excellent item for Zhang Liao. Plus 8k population growth per county in the commandery. It's very nice. Um, we'll have this army continue to attack this way towards the rice paddy. Alright, she didn't actually summon another general. 100% capture chance. That's kind of what we're going after here. There's a chance you could die though. Like the safest thing to do is to fight it manually, but... I'm going to take the chance because this item is not that great. Ah, she didn't die, so it should be a capture. And then we execute for the item. Uh, now we just wipe them out. It's a, oh, he ranked up. That is very nice because that can help us with our uh, court positions. We're going to take quick fire. All right, the, the problem is all our patience officers are our frontline officers, and we don't have that many frontline generals who can actually fight. So, like, every army needs at least one of them. They'll take this. I don't know if they actually need to go this way now. They can maybe just set up a offense against them. Like, honestly, Zhou Tai should come back to this army and get rid of Huang Gai. Because these two already have Othorn, I believe. And we're basically looking for... Ooh. You know, this is more story if we do Zhou Tai and Sun Quan. 
these two are close. And then we just kick Cheng and develop another relationship. I'm down for that. I'll ship them. And then we'll actually get rid of his um, assignment. Yeah, we're, we're doing a lot of work and redoing a lot of things, but that's just that's just the way we are right now, trying to figure out what we want to do. And then we'll summon our little brother, and then we'll, we'll fight here together just for some camaraderie. We'll look for a couple more guys here. These guys will definitely have to come back. How many more turns till Rebel comes again? Uh, a lot of turns, so let's not worry about that. Alright, let's upgrade that. Poyang. Hmm, do we need corruption reduction right now? 15%? We'll, we'll eat it right now. Eventually, eventually we'll put it in the peasantry towns for the food. Our income is doing fine. We can cancel this ahead of time. Okay. Yeah, we can level him up a little bit. I'm just trying to use my deployments. We can always flip-flop, send them back and forth. Okay, all right, we're good to go. Just have to check turncoats real quick. Nope, no one interested. And we're back to the top tier, which is great. Let's continue here. Oh, we forgot about trade again, but thanks to Shu offering it to us, so we can negotiate potentially a better deal for per turn payments, which is actually not true. So we'll take his deal for 500 gold. I don't think we're going to war with him anytime soon. We're sweeping north first before finishing in the south. Ooh, Tall Tall attacks the little belt. Interesting. So Tall Tall has to get through little belt to get to us, and he's going to war with little belt. So that's interesting. So it's going to turn out to be like us and Tall Tall sandwiching little belt in the middle. Sun Quan, come on down. Alright, so I like this narrative, this army right here, and we gotta find them a strategist. Sun Xuan doesn't get along with Zhang Zhao. Oh, that's classic. The nagging strategist. Um, I mean, it's gotta be Lu Su then, I guess. Alright, that's the squad. Over here. We can do the old Dong Zhuo officers. Put Zhang Nao here. Make that a squad. And we'll raise another army here. Luo Jun and the two Zhangs to come out into a, another army. So two armies this way, two armies that way. And the people that got left behind are... Chen Gong, Tai Shi Ci. Uh, yeah, th those guys will come probably farm rebels for a little bit. It's a shame. Too many good officers. All right, here comes our Onyx Dragons. That also means we can invoke faction. This one we didn't do because of temple. Do we want to squeeze out a temple build somewhere by rushing something down? Oh, actually, this is perfect opportunity to do that. Move any character to Yuzhang. Simple. School. Sun Quan on his side. Oh, that's tough. Copper mine. Okay. This is easy. 
And Yu Zhang is also easy because he's here. Uh, he, no, it's, it's him. We will. We will do the sieging. We'll let them reinforce us. Oh, we can just win. Yeah, let them get all the experience. Go for it. Low health, low health. Alright, going back to Changsha. Probably gonna use the recall to heal. We really need one of these small commanderies to finish building so we can build the conscription. Uh. Hmm. We could just... Oh, no, 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 no. We could just cheat out some buildings real quick since we have a spot. It's expensive, but I want to get the missions done. Oh, dear. There's a slight refund on the demolish. And then what we really want here is conscription building uh, so that we can get some uh, extra deployment once we get this to rank 3. We'll wait on that. There's no need to rush that one too quick. Yeah, everything else is building nicely. We have extra assignments to do. Let's go with our most lucrative places first. Do we have anything we can boost to here? Nope. Poor young. Uh, we can probably still boost construction here. Uh, man, they're not making a lot of money here. So the two drones are coming out very soon, so we're not going to use them. Maybe Taishitsu can speed up building here. Yeah, do something for now. Rather than just wait. Or... Hold on. It's, he, there's so many turns here. We'll put him here because this is about to finish. There we go. Alright, quick check of the turn coat situation. Still nothing going on. Let's continue. We have another trade deal. Wait, how come? We got a fifth one somehow. Interesting. I mean, we won't say no to Zhufu's over here. It's not really going to impact us because we're just going to wrap up Changsha. We're not going to do Badong just yet. He's actually wealthy. Um, so per turn's actually better with him. Alright. Duchy of Zhong signed a peace deal with Liu Bei. We'll go with patient. Yeah, we'll go with patience. All right. Back to our old homestead here. Get our own tea resource. They can reinforce this one. And then they will do the attacking. All right, there we go. Another level up. Level seven. Okay. Devastating roar for sure. Very powerful. Very powerful ability. Uh, tea house. We'll upgrade that. All right, we finally have some open slots to play around with. Um, conscription's not very helpful till the, the second level. This is definitely a great peasantry industry income. So we'll go do food first, I think. Let me summon some of the generals first. Zhang Zhao, Zhang Hong. All right. 
This army is gonna get ready. I'm thinking about subbing these two out for the other way. Favoring Taishitz over uh, Zhang Dao just because Taishitz can do more. <laughs> Can't make up my mind. Alright, Yu Zhang. Is Yu Zhang building? We already built something here, right? One turn. Alright, we'll rush that two turn. So that's enough time for Zhang Dao to come do work next turn. He has reach, so he can actually he can actually lead the army pretty well. Alright, so we'll give them a force. We'll build up after we do all the buildings. That's crucial. Alright, another potential rebellion situation. Alright, that's all the buildings, I believe. And quick check here. Ah, shared expertise blowed up before we were able to use it. Um, Cheng Gong? All right, we're good. Um, Taishitsu comes out next turn. Did we cancel it? Yeah, we did. Good. Yeah, this thing grows way too fast now. 25, so we can do it every two turns. Um, but let's continue one more turn. Yuan Shao want us to be their vassal? No way. All right. So, harvest season 201. Uh, the South is going to war with Yuan Shu. Good, we can make some friends by going to war with him as well. I plan to deal. We got the two tails. We did it. Harvest season two one. I thought this wasn't going to happen, but amazing. Okay, so we got the South under control. We got marriage offers going on. So historically, what happened is uh, about a couple months before Sun Tzu's death, they were attacking uh, Lu Jiang over here, and the Tell family lives there. And after they took over the commandery, uh, they heard about, you know, legends or stories of these beautiful daughters. And Sun Ce and Zhou Yu went there and basically married the two uh, sisters. Uh, Sun Ce married the older one called Da Qiao. Uh, da meaning older. And Qiao is just their last name. So it's not their real name. It's basically like their nickname. And Sun Ce, uh, Zhou Yu married Xiao Qiao. Uh, both concubines. Uh, both Sun Ce and Zhou Yu had wives already. So... They're basically concubines. Uh, but in our story here, they're going to be uh, actually married to the correct generals, which we will have the wedding next turn, I guess. Let's do it now. Let's do it now and try to do a battle real quick to confirm so we don't lose them somehow. And they both also have the Tell Sister ability, which is similar to the Two Zhang ability, where if you bet both of the unit on the battlefield, all your units will gain plus 10 morale and uh, immune to terror. So we have to figure out a way to get them in the same army, which isn't hard. You have a commander and a strategist. Uh, we can either add a frontline units or actually another vanguard is fine too. So that's nice. Let's get wedding set up. Mary. That's help. And uh, where are you, Zhou Yu? Mary. Xiao Tiao. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, to make sure we have a save, let's take the Changsha Armor Craftsman as well. Oh, Yellow Turbans took over the town. Wonderful. That way we don't have to declare war on Huangzhou yet until we get the trade port and then we can push forward. I like where these things are going. First, let them leech off some experience and scout ahead for our army for a little bit. All right, no one's defending it. 
attack. And that's a nice save point for us. There we go. Another part of our legacy completed. So we'll come back uh, next episode. As you see, we have pretty much solid ownership of the South. Uh, the Han Empire is going to be a very passive flow, and we have trade deals with Zhu Fu. Uh, we're going to be targeting Huang Zhu next, uh, which will probably bring Liu Bao into the war with us. And that's fine because these are all part of our legacy Jiangling, uh, Xiangyang and the trade port and then we'll also relaunch our attack against Yuan Shu's force and it's nice that they're standing out here with next to us because we have an opportunity to maybe wipe them out early with these two armies we can summon some mercenary units real quick just to clean them out and then summon the proper troops like the onyx dragon that we promised and uh, maybe tiger guards once he hit rank six so that we can take down the north and go against our old master who's duchy of Zhong already so he's the duke before us yeah impressed that seal is doing him great work there so hope you guys enjoyed this episode i'm super glad we got the tail sisters and we'll come back and uh, continue next time bye <laughs>